Hey guys, I'm back, finally done with college, so hopefully I can spend a little bit more time catching up on all these movies that I haven't reviewed in the past year. But I'm gonna start off with the latest movie I watched, which, of, which is of course X-Men Apocalypse. And X-Men Apocalypse is directed by Brian Singer, written by Simon Kinberg, um, and stars James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Oscar Isaac, and lots of other people. And in X-Men Apocalypse, the world's first mutant, N. Sabanur, also known as Apocalypse, played by Oscar Isaac, um, awakens from his slumber and decides to take over slash destroy the world because he thinks it's weak. Now going into this movie, I was really, really afraid that it wasn't going to be good because none of the trailers really sold me and they kept using the same footage over and over again, which led me to believe that maybe they didn't really have that many cool things to show us. And unfortunately, I was kind of right. I mean, it's still kind of fun to watch because the action is good and the cast is great but the writing in it is just so poor in my opinion that it's just not totally worth the price of admission. However, to give credit where credit is due, I think that X-Men Apocalypse has some of the best costume design and makeup in the series so far. A lot of these characters have outfits that look like their classic uh, comic book outfits, but with a little bit of an 80s twist in there. Especially Magneto, I love his costume in this movie, and the makeup they use for Apocalypse and Nightcrawler looks great. And in my opinion, the X-Men movies have always been able to use sound very well because of how they're able to distinguish these different mutants and their powers through sound. You know, Beast has his growling, uh, Quicksilver makes like those zipping sounds when he runs, um, and Nightcrawler has his bamfs, which I've really missed. And John Ottman's score for this movie, I would have preferred it to be a little less grandiose, but for now I'll give it a pass because at least it sounds really different compared to the previous X-Men scores. John Ottman is also one of the editors in the movie uh, with Michael Lewis Hill, and for the most part they cut together the action quite well, especially a certain uh, Quicksilver scene that happens in the middle of the movie which is just hilarious and amazing to watch, um, as well as a, a certain uh, fight scene in a facility which is kind of cut together like a horror movie almost. But the cast here still proves that they're the best thing about these movies. James McAvoy as Charles doesn't really have that much to do, but his performance is just so nuanced. Everything is in his eyes and in his movements. Um, same goes for Jennifer Lawrence as Mystique. Um, she doesn't have that much to do, but it's her performance that makes uh, mystique, complex, and interesting. I have to give a shout out, of course, to Evan Peters, who plays Quicksilver, who is just so fun to watch and he's instantly likable, um, as well as Cody Smith McPhee, who plays Nightcrawler, who I think played the character perfectly. Like, he really channeled Alan Cumming from X2. He really just felt like a young version of that character. But to me, the standout here is still Michael Fassbender as Magneto because he's just the beating heart of this movie, especially uh, towards the beginning, where he has a couple of really emotional moments. He really, really sells it. And I I think Brian Singer still does his job well as a director because he finds new ways for these mutants to use their powers and the action is always staged coherently so it's always interesting to watch. Again, the Quicksilver scene, the facility scene, as well as a certain fight scene that happens all in the mind. It's really, really interesting. And I really do appreciate how Brian Singer is still able to inject moments of real drama in between these big action scenes. Unfortunately, there's also a lot I did not like about X-Men Apocalypse. Number one, some of the CGI here just looks downright unfinished, especially to towards the end, like the big climactic fight, a lot of it just does not feel real, and especially when you go to a couple of shots of these, uh, these, these ships with cargo on them, they look like PS1 graphics, and I'm not exaggerating, they look horrible. And on the editing side, I just don't feel like the editing juggles these multiple storylines very well. There's lots of awkward cuts in between scenes, but my biggest gripe in this movie really is the writing. I just don't like how this movie is written at all. I mean, on the level of plot, Apocalypse's plan is kind of lame, it's very, very generic, uh, take over the world stuff. Um, and just, you know, it doesn't really make sense to me in the context of like his powers and his seeming omnipotence. The movie also makes a big deal out of the fact that it's the 80s, but none of the characters feel like they've aged, and not just in terms of like physical looks, but in terms of maturity. It doesn't feel like they've developed since Days of Future Past. And that, I guess, ultimately is my biggest gripe. I didn't really care about any of these characters, I didn't buy any of their relationships. It's bizarre to me that the uh, Angel in this movie is portrayed like worse than he was in uh, X-Men The Last Stand, which I actually liked him there. It's also kind of irritating how they kind of rewrote the character of Stryker in this movie, even if the way he was portrayed in X2 was still the best. And I feel like they really dropped the ball on Magneto here because his motivation for joining Apocalypse at the beginning of the movie just doesn't 
feel enough for me and his decisions later on in the movie I just don't feel like they're earned and they're not consistent with his character. In the end, I'm still gonna say that X-Men Apocalypse is just, just an okay movie. I mean, it's fun if you want like brainless action and fan service, but it's sad that, you know, it's no longer about mutants defending the people who fear them. It's just, you know, a generic action movie. So those are my thoughts on X-Men Apocalypse. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? Whether you agree with me or not, please leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation.